The tokamak complex is composed with the diagnostics building, the tokamak and the tritium building. For this building, we had to dig 20 meters underground and we will build 60 meters above the ground. The tokamak complex is 110 meters long, 80 meters wide and will be 80 meters high. In other words, its footprint is bigger than that of a football stadium. But the tokamak complex is not just big, it's also incredibly complex. I'm standing above the ITER platform so that you can see the size of this project. In seven years from now, 39 buildings and infrastructure facilities will be erected in order to host all the high-tech equipment that will bring the energy of the sun to Earth. For this, we will use 150,000 cubic meters of concrete, out of which 110,000 will be used for the construction of the tokamak complex. This is the equivalent of the concrete used for 3,000 houses of 120 square meters. So, let's crack the reasons that make the tokamak complex really challenging to build. To begin with, we need to remember that it is a research facility that needs to comply with strict norms and safety standards. 500 plinths will be built on the raft slab of the tokamak pit. The next layer will be covered with seismic pads on which the lower basement will be constructed. On the basement, 18 columns will be placed to support the tokamak machine. The walls surrounding the tokamak machine are made of reinforced concrete to protect it. This building will have to sustain the weight of the machine, which will be around 23,000 tons, three times the weight of the Eiffel Tower, and will have more than 10,000 embedded parts. Remember, every time there is an opening in the construction, the ratio of reinforcement needs to increase proportionally. Therefore, we need to ensure a solid ratio of steel reinforcement. Bridges require around 150 kg of steel per cubic meter. We estimate that we will use roughly 300 of steel per cubic meter locally. We are dealing with some incredibly impressive weights. The ITER Tokamak complex will weight an impressive total of 300,000 tons. So, how are we do going to balance this weight and to isolate from an earthquake? The answer is with 500 seismic pads. So, what is the effect of the seismic pads? Basically, they protect the building and its equipment by reducing the seismic forces and by absorbing the shock of an earthquake. ITER will be the largest fusion facility on seismic pads in the world. It will be able to sustain at least an earthquake which may strike every 10,000 years. In designing ITER, we have considered both internal and external hazards. For example, the floods, the extreme winds and the huge electromagnetic loads on the metallic components of the machine. We have considered uh, extreme case scenarios in order to ensure the safe operation of ITER.